Good morning class, today's lesson is 8.1. Today we're gonna to do multiples of unit fractions. Our essential question, how can you write a fraction as a part of a whole number and a unit fraction? Let's unlock the problem. At a pizza party, each pizza was cut into six equal slices. At the end of the party, there were five sixths of a pizza left. Roberta put each of the leftover slices in its own freezer bag. How many bags did she use? What part of the pizza did she put in each bag? How many slices of pizza were eaten? So that's what we need to look at first. Well, if there were five sixths of a pizza left and it was cut into six slices, then we know that there was one slice that was eaten. What fraction of the pizza is that one slice? Well, it's one sixth. Because remember, they're cut into six slices. One sixth wasn't eaten, five sixths was. So let's look at an example. So the picture shows five sixth. So one, two, three, four, five sixth, or five sixth parts. And each six size part of the pizza can be shown as a unit fraction of one over six. You can use unit fractions to show five six in two ways. You can say five six is equal to one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth because you've got one, two, three, four, five. So five sixth is the same thing as saying five times one sixth. The number of add ins or the multiplier represents the number of bags used. So here's my add in or my multiplier, which is five. So that's how many bags he used. Robert used five bags and she put one sixth of a pizza in each of those bags. Explain how you can write three halves as a product of a whole number and a unit fraction. So I can write three halves as the sum of a unit fraction. So three halves would equal one half plus one half plus one half because that's one, two, three. And I can also use multiplication to show this repeat addition. 3 times 1 half, because there's 3 halves, right? So that's the product of the whole number and the unit fraction. Multiples. The product of a number and counting number is a multiple of the number. So you've learned about multiples of whole numbers. The product of 1 times 4, 2 times 4, 3 times 4, and so on are the multiples of 4. So those numbers would be 4, 8, 12, and so on, because 1 times 4 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8, 3 times 4 is 12, 4 times 4 is 16, and so on. So you can also find multiples of unit fractions in the same way. So 1 times 1 fourth is 1 fourth. You'd use, use the models to write the next four multiples of 1 fourth and then compare the last model. So here we have um, 1 fourth plus 1, or 1 fourth and 1 fourth, so that's 2 times 1 fourth which equals two fourths, because we've got one, two, right? Over here, we've got one, two, three fourths. So we've got three times the one fourth, and that's gonna equal three fourths. One, two, three, right? On the next one, we have, we have one, two, three, four of the one fourths, and so that equals four fourths. Over here, if we're following in pattern, I would do five, right? Because we've got, we had one, then we had two, then we had three, then we had four, so now we have five. So we're going to pretend these were shaded in. So we have five times one fourth, which is five fourths. One, two, three, four, five. So the multiples of one fourth are one fourth, Two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, and five fourths. Kind of seeing a pattern here, just like when we're counting, right? So the next one says to use the number line to write the multiples of one fifth. So we have there's one fifth, two fifths, three fifths. So this right here is going to be four fifths. And then when I jump it again, it's going to be five fifths. And we know five fifths is equal to one, right? Because so our multiples of one-fifth are one-fifth, two-fifths, 
three fifths, four fifths, and five fifths. Number six. All right, use the picture to complete the equation. So uh, we have these in our classroom, uh, the bars. So we have, this is a whole. And then in this one, I have one, two, three fourths. So three fourths is the same thing. One, two, three, right? We've got three of them. So it's the same thing as saying one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth, right? One, two, three. Three fourths is also the same thing as saying three times the one fourth because we're multiplying it one, two, three. The next problem says write the fraction as a product of a whole number in a unit fraction. So four fifths is saying four times the one fifth, right? So this is my unit fraction. I'm multiplying it four times the one fifth. Basically, I have four of those one fifth pieces. In this next one, it's saying three tens. So that means I have three pieces of one ten. And the next one, it's saying eight thirds. That means I have eight pieces of one third. So eight times one third. Next, it asks to list the four multiples of the unit fraction. So we have one sixth, two sixth, three sixth. Hopefully you know this by now, four sixth, and finally, five six it's just like we're counting we're just counting fractions instead of numbers right sorry that glitched number six is one third two thirds three thirds four thirds and five thirds okay just like i did up there i want you to do problem seven eight nine ten and eleven I'm going to have a Google form on Google Classroom for you to put the answers in for those five problems. I am virtually learning today, so obviously I'm not on the carpet for help, but I'm going to be in the Google Classroom um, live chat uh, today. So if you do need help with these um, and with the Think Central that I've assigned you, um, you can chat with me then. All right, good luck.